Dear friends, this is the weekend of Palm Sunday. And the story is of Jesus coming into the city of Jerusalem. He sent his disciples into the city to find a colt and to ask the owner or tell the owner that Jesus had need of it. And when they brought it back, they placed Jesus on the donkey and they began to go into the city. And as the crowds gathered, they began to wave their palm branches and throw their coats in, in the path of the donkey, shouting, um, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace on heaven, glory in the highest heaven. Hosanna, Hosanna. The irony is that while the crowd seeks to give Jesus a conqueror's welcome, they had no idea of the kind of conqueror Jesus would become because his kingdom was not a kingdom of might, it was rather of mercy and forgiveness. The loneliness of God is on display. It brings about a very different kind of situation because Jesus did not come to overpower the rulers, but rather to come humbly. He cared enough to feel the pain for all the people and take upon himself the brokenness and the sins of the world. The mood changes during Holy Week from Hosanna into the words, crucify him, crucify him. The parade in his honor turns to rejection, from celebration to death knolls, from cheers into jeers, because instead of a show of power and force, he exemplifies the power of love and obedience for all of us. He is the king, all right, who cares enough to lay down his life. This week he would walk through the Garden of Gethsemane. He would be betrayed, rejected, and by the end of the week, crucified, dead, and buried. What looms over this parade is the shadow of the cross. Paul writes these words in Philippians in the New Testament. For Christ, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant. Being born in the likeness and being found in the human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. For there is no resurrection without Christ's death, no Easter without Good Friday. And all of this Christ has done for you and for me and the world. And just remember, after Good Friday, Easter is coming. Thanks be to God. Chaplain Clark.